Good evening. It's 6 o'clock on Thursday, October 27, 2016. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of Aura News, where we bring you today's top stories translated into English every weeknight. Non-performing loans continue to be the main stalemate of the Albanian economy. At the National Conference of the Central Bank of Albania, the BOA governor asked second-level banks to give more loans. The Bank of Albania's governor emphasized that further reduction of the public debt level remains a challenge. The Bank of Albania's data says that defaulted loans are at 20%, up from 18% at the end of 2015. BOA governor said that a great deal of work is needed to reduce the number of non-performing loans. The recent global crisis was unprecedented and affected our financial system, causing losses and affecting the financial well-being. The crisis caused immense loss in production and employment levels, reduced the welfare and tested the stability of growth and development in many countries. Our analysis and forecasts confirm that the Albanian economy is back on a positive track. Economic growth is expected to improve progressively over the next three years. Such growth continues to be fueled by recovery of private domestic demand. The accommodating policies of the Bank of Albania, the improved financing conditions and the strengthening of private agents are considered to be the main elements underlying the financial recovery. The gradual return to economic equilibrium will help improve fiscal indicators across the board. More specifically, as the ec economy balances, there will be an increase in employment, a return of target inflation, a reduction of public debt, and further strengthening of the private sector balance sheets. The acceleration of economic growth in Albania can be attributed to the private sector vitality. This is an encouraging development given that the fiscal policy implemented over this period was focused on showing prudence and rendering public finance healthy. While the actions of the Bank of Albania have sought to further strengthen financial stability. As a result of our measures, the Albanian banking sector is sound with high degrees of capital and liquidity and positive levels of profitability. The conditions for lending in Albania have improved and are constantly improving. The phenomenon of non-performing loans, which reflects to a large extent the retroactive effects of the crisis shocks, is being addressed, although much remains to be done until its eventual solution, the BOA governor declared. The Prime Minister was present at the conference and declared that revenues are at satisfactory levels and salaries and pensions will increase thanks to this improved situation. Prime Minister added that the economic growth is moving in a positive fashion. The bank helped to overcome the crisis of collapse that threatened our country in 2013. We repaid 720 million in obligations. Today we have conditions where the Albanian economy has increased by 3.2%. We are aware that this is not enough to successfully cope with needs yet, but we are optimistic because several projects prepared for the tourism, infrastructure, and energy fields are about to be finalized and they will have a positive impact on economic growth in the coming five years, declared the Prime Minister. Democratic Party Chairman Lul Zambasha held a meeting today with Anita Tuladar, the head of the International Monetary Fund Mission for Albania, and Jans Renk, the IMF rep for Albania. During the meeting, the Democratic Party chairman emphasized that he believes the Albanian economy is in critical condition because of improper government policies, such as increased taxes and corrupt schemes. The DP chairman also raised his concerns about the increase in public debt, the absence of investments, the absence of transparency, and about decreased revenue collection. Stopping at cannabis cultivation, the DP chairman highlighted that this year marked the highest production of drugs in Albania. Mr. Basha blamed the Prime Minister for the drug situation in Albania, claiming that the Prime Minister refuses to implement the decriminalization law. The Democratic Party chairman added that the monies that come from drug trafficking are being used to corrupt state officials and to buy the citizens' votes.
Agricultural investments and support for farmers sparked debates between the majority and the opposition in today's plenary session. The Prime Minister said that huge investments in agriculture have been made over the last three years and he considers the Guarantee Fund to be an important instrument in supporting farmers. The Prime Minister added that farmers are better organized and exporting Albanian products is showing better competition in foreign markets. The opposition MPs countered that agricultural section has degraded, declaring that only cannabis cultivation has increased. The former Minister of Finance declared that the Albanian products are not competitive and positioned that there have been no investments in agriculture and no subventions for the farmers. However, the Minister of Agriculture declared that the export of fruits has doubled in the last year with an increased income from fruit exportation of 50 million euro, more than a year ago. The Democratic Party Chairman Lul Zambasha began a tour of meetings with farmers in order to hear about problems in Albanian agriculture. From Peshin, where he met with some farmers, the DP chairman accused the Prime Minister of destroying agriculture. Mr. Basha declared that the Guarantee Fund for Agriculture is an effort of the Prime Minister to avoid subventions. Meanwhile, the farmers declared that their products are rotting without being sold. Farmers have not received any subventions. There are no roads constructed. The drainage channels are not cleaned. He invites the farmers to take loans, but can the farmers pay the loans interest, asked Basha. The DP chairman promised that the Democratic Party's platform includes 100 million per year in subventions. The solution for farmers is the grant, subventions. We will have 100 million in subventions per year. 1% of the GDP will be used for farmers, subventions, he added. During his stay in Pechin, the Democratic Party chairman also held a meeting with DP Structures, where he recapped the inability to have free and honest elections with Eddie Rama as prime minister. During his visit to Turkey, the Minister of Foreign Affairs was received by the Turkish president, who he discussed strengthening bilateral relations and materializing projects with importance to both countries. The two officials discussed the importance of intensifying cooperation in the fields of infrastructure, energy, agriculture, and tourism, which all have a direct impact on both economies and strengthening cooperation in the defense and security sector. Turkish president expressed Turkey's unconditional support for strengthening bilateral relations through concrete projects as a show of Turkey's commitments in the region. During the meeting with the Turkish president, Minister Bushadi strongly condemned the attempted coup of July 15th, welcoming the commitment of the Turkish people and their legitimate representatives for the rapid restoration of constitutional order in the country by the government that was democratically elected. The two countries are expected to formalize a partnership agreement, which will be followed by a joint meeting of the governments of the two countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also held a meeting with Tur his Turkish counterpoint, who during a press conference asked Albanian authorities to closely follow what he called terrorist movement activities of Fatula Gulen which Turkish authorities feel has a strong presence in Albania. The Turkish foreign minister has expressed that Turkey pays attention to such important commitments of Albanian authorities. Two Albanian singers, Elena Duni and Eda Zari, have joined the Civil Society Initiative in protest against the hydropower plant construction along the Valbona River and against waste importing into Albania. In order to bring awareness to the citizens, the two singers, along with other artists, will give protest concerts in Valbona and Tirana. Their slogan is, do not touch Valbona and say no to waste import in Albania. The artists and reps of the Alliance Against Waste invite the citizens to join the concerts. The protest has the motto, let's protect earth, air, water, life. The organizers say that the event has no political connections, 
Meanwhile, the representatives of the Alliance Against Waste warned that they will follow any path to stop waste importing. We will act in several directions at the same time, following institutional paths and protests. If it's possible, we will go to a referendum. The protest concert will be held in Tripoya on October 29th and in Tirana on October 30th, both starting at 6 p.m. That's all for our English edition this evening. Please join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for your local news in English. My name is Mari, and on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night. <laughs>